you about uh, Twitter and how it can be a good branding tool for your company or just for you personally for getting a job or finding your next gig whatever you're doing um, freelance wise or work wise um, so let's start off with uh, making sure that you have a very customized name your name is what's going to represent you it's going to be exactly what everybody sees when um, they're looking for you or anytime you send out a tweet so it's very important that it's something that's memorable but also appropriate. Um, you don't want anything that's um, sexual or um, too quippy. Um, probably not anything with numbers either. You want it to be very easy to type. Um, remember that a lot of the people that are following you are probably doing it off their phone. So if they want to reply to you, you want to make it easy for them and not, um, not hard to type in on their phone. Um, so something that has maybe your business name, your actual name, um, or the city or state that you live in, um, all of the above would be good. I'm going to talk about um, actually setting up your account and settings. Um, it's one of the things that people look at when they're deciding whether or not to follow you, and so obviously it's a very important thing. Um, location is the first thing. Um, lots of applications make it so um, your location is part of the search thing. Um, so, I mean, put in your city, your state, your country, whatever you prefer. Um, just put something, don't put nothing. Um, next would be the picture. Picture is definitely important. Um, again, it's one of the things that people see when they're looking at you. And, um, I mean, it's something that's going to make you just that much more memorable. Um, so, have something that has your face, your logo, um, your company name, uh, just keep it consistent, keep it branded, and I mean, if you're a company across all of your social networks, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you had the same exact um, photo everywhere. Um, next up is your bio. So um, just put a little bit about personal information, something about you, something about your company, um, what you do. Um, maybe keywords that you would normally use. Um, I'm not saying necessarily for SEO wise, but just because obviously uh, if they're your keywords, they should be something that um, definitely represents you and um, represents your company and exactly who you are and what you do. Um, it doesn't have to be that way though. You, you can make it funny, short, sweet, um, just as long as it's memorable. Now, um, as far as the link, what should you use for the link? Do you have a company website? That would be the first thing. Um, if not, you have a few options. Um, your LinkedIn profile would be one of them. And um, I would recommend using that. Um, if you don't have one, you should probably get one. Um, LinkedIn is for absolutely everybody. It's a, a business social network. Um, next up, most people have uh, Facebook, so that would be another good one. Otherwise, obviously YouTube, you're on here already. so. Um, now, as far as background, make sure that it's customized. There's lots of free places that'll give you customized backgrounds. I'd say make it professional, and if you're a company, make it something that would be right in line with your website so that it's cross-branded and um, it fits in perfectly. Um, now, as far as when you're sending out links, um, you're going to want to use something like Bitly, and I've mentioned this before. Um, Bitly is great because it will help track um, all of your links and um, who's clicked on them and it's just a really nice resource and tool. Um, so Bitly is B-I-T dot L-Y um, and it's, it's really simple to use. It's just like tiny URL. Now as far as updates. Um, you might want to track your updates and there's some free tools and there's some paid tools. So the free tools would be things like Google Alerts, um, Surmise, which is now search.twitter.com, or you can use things like Google Alerts. Um, as far as the paid tools, there's things like TechRidgy and Radian 6 and quite a few others that I'm missing out, but um, those are some of the bigger ones. Um, 
use hashtags. If they're available, use them. It's a great way to be found by other people that are doing exactly what you're doing or talking about what you're talking about and also makes using search Twitter a lot easier for people who are curious about the subject. Um, lots of events will make their own hashtag and lots of people will make their own hashtag and it's just basically a common word that everybody uses for it, that particular topic. So if you know if there's a hashtag, use it. If you don't, um, maybe look one up. Now as far as syndication, um, that would be like um, RSS which again is really simple syndication and you can use this in a few different ways. You can stream it into your Google Reader, um, that is if you have Google Reader and um, if you don't, Google Reader is just basically something that um, hosts all of your RSS feeds in one simple place for you. Um, now, another option is to automate your tweets. If you already know what you're going to talk about ahead of time, or if you're going to be out of town, this might be the option for you. Especially if you are posting blog posts and you want to mention your blog, but you don't want to mention it today, you want to mention it three days from now when you have it scheduled to be posted. Um, so you can automate your tweets with a couple different things. Um, there's Tweet Later. Tweet Later is a great tool um, as far as online um, tools go. but it's not exactly the prettiest tool out there. Another one is Hootlet, H-O-O-T-L-E-T, -O -O and it sends out tweets for you and you can actually send them out to multiple accounts, unlike TweetLater, which will only send it out to one at a time, although you can manage multiple accounts with TweetLater. Um, now, as far as privacy, I would say if you're a business, don't set it up so that your privacy settings um, make you manage everybody that wants to follow you. Otherwise, they won't be able to see your tweets right away and you're probably not going to get as many followers. Uh, unless you're talking about things that you shouldn't be talking about, I'd say why go private. Don't forget to uh, be generous with your tweets. If you see something that you like and you've been following another user and they just put out a great blog post, share it with the rest of your um, followers as a retweet. Just put RT and then that user's name um, at Desiree V, for example, for me. If you actually liked my video, you could retweet it. Um, share content. Be very generous online. People appreciate that, and they'll do the same for you later on. Plus, all of your followers appreciate good content, I'm sure. Now, as far as sharing goes, you can also do tweet memes, and that's a great way to get content out even further. A lot of people appreciate being followed back and sometimes will unfollow. Um, everything is kind of relevant to each person. I mean, if you're a celebrity or if you're following a celebrity, I wouldn't necessarily expect them to follow every million person back. That's kind of pointless, but if you're in a really small network and you're talking to somebody on a regular basis, you should probably just follow them back. Um, there's multiple reasons why. Direct messaging would be one. You can only direct message somebody if you're following them and they're following you. Um, well, you can direct message somebody who's following you anyway. So, I mean, be generous as usual. Um, never hurts to share and follow and be followed. If people are answering, que asking questions online and you know the answer, um, this would be one of those points where, again, be generous and answer them. It's just good Twitter karma. Now, if you have a blog and you have a website, don't forget to add your Twitter account onto those. It just validates your account and also helps you get more followers. I mean, if somebody is on your website and they want to connect with you, why wouldn't they follow you on Twitter? Well, everybody, I hope this helps you brand yourself online and gives you one step ahead. So keep in touch. Keep up with the awesome questions, comments, concerns, um, anything else that you'd like to share with me. And I uh, look forward to hearing from all of you. Again, if you have anything that you are just curious about, uh, video-wise, um, I'm more than happy to make videos on anything internet, marketing, business, or style and etiquette related. So get in touch with me, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.